Hi folks and welcome to the Movie Mad channel once again for part 5 of my complete Blu-ray collection. So let's get started. The Godfather. So this is part 5, so shelf 5 in fact. And that's the, I've got the Godfather collection. I got that out of the charity shop. It's got the Godfather part 1, 2 and 3 and something like that, or just the Godfather. And I'll be honest with you. I watched these a long time ago, but I cannot remember a thing about them. So, there you go. Godfather collection. Don't know why that's in my collection. <laughs> I, please forgive me. <laughs> Hope and glory. I have, even though this is sealed, I have watched it because I bought three of these. And I uh, traded two of them in because I bought them for four pound and uh, at the three for ten. I think they were three pound thirty three each, and I got a five pound voucher for them each. So I bought three, traded two in. That's got ten pound voucher back, and got to keep this one. And I have watched Hope and Glory. I think this is a good story about Warren from a child's point of view in the Second World War. And I think this is a good movie. The Mist, special edition. This is a good movie as well, I really enjoy it. Paranormal Activity, number four. Can't remember watching it to be honest with you. See all my movies are mixed up, that's a problem. I am number four. I think I think I remember, I do remember watching this, I had a good time. So it's a superhero movie and what I remember it was good. From Michael Bay. The In Between Us movie. That is good. I really enjoyed this one. Didn't enjoy the second one as much, but this one's pretty good. <laughs> if you do hear noise in the background, you'll have to forgive me. I've got a few extra dog visitors today because my dad's needing some work done in his house, so I'm uh, dog sitting, shall we say. And I did social distance, I went and picked him up for his garden and came back here. So there you go. Uh, Hard Target with Jean-Claude Van Damme. I think this is a good movie. This is the one uh, This is the one where, yeah, he tries to help the woman in the car. That's a great scene where he does his... He, that's a great action scene, that one. Good movie, that one. And 3 dollars I paid for that, so that's good. We Still Kill the Old Way. Haven't watched it. It's got Burnside out of the bill, if you remember that, though. <laughs> Look at this, I'm covered in, covered, covered in hairs from the new visitors. Right. Alvin and the Chipmunks. Is this the, is this the same as the other one I had? The double? Oh. I'm not quite sure, but I can't remember. I watched it, it was alright. Seraphim Falls, Steelbook. I haven't watched this yet, but I got this out of Poundland, so that's decent for a Steelbook, I thought. There you go. Pulp Fiction, classic. Can't even have that in your collection, eh? John Travolta, a royal with cheese, you know what they call a burger in a, in a quarter pounder in America? A royal with cheese. <laughs> That's what he says. That's the best bit of the whole movie. <laughs> I've got a couple of TV series here which I haven't watched yet, which is, I got them in the charity shop, which is Spartacus Gods of the Arena. I think that's a prequel. And Spartacus Vengeance. And I haven't watched them because I still don't have the full set. Really surprised I found this in the charity shop. What a film that is. Mississippi Burning. Shocked to find that in the charity shop, to be honest with you. I think I paid £2 for that. And it's William Defoe and Gene Hackman. I watch, I like a lot of Gene Hackman movies. Enemy of the State, Bat 21. I really need to get Bat 21 on Blu-ray. Jurassic Park, classic, need you say more about that, I th that is one of the films that my dad took me to see in the cinema, we did see that. Three billboards for Evan County, I picked that up in, in the CEX and I haven't watched it yet but it's supposed to be really really good, so that's why I got it. Oh no, 
Please forgive me again. Vantage point. I haven't watched it on Blu-ray, but I have watched this movie. And that's I think that's a really good take on it. It's got Matthew Fox from Lost in It, Dennis Quaid, Sigourney Weaver, Forrest Whitaker, and Will and William Hart. And it shows a crime from all different angles and you need to see who's done it. This is a good this is a decent one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I think this is double. I think I won this repeat, but Twilight, New Moon and Eclipse. Double I think. Can sort that out later. Doctor Who, time of the Doctor. Look at that magic. <laughs> Doctor Who, Time of the Doctor. I haven't watched it yet, but I will get around to it. The Fifth Element. Did I enjoy this movie? Yeah, it's alright. Just There's something about it I just didn't quite... It's not one I rewatch over and over, that's for sure. I've watched it a few times, though. <laughs> Tropic Thunder. There's a lot of controversy about this one at the moment, isn't there? With Stiller down in it, I still think it, and Jack Black, I still think it's funny. It was 50 years ago today from the Beatles. Got this out of Poundland. There was three of them, they were five pound, they were they were two pound each, you got five pound voucher for them, so I bought two, traded them in and kept one. I haven't watched it yet. The Fighter. I picked that up. I've watched this on DVD and I actually, let, I actually borrowed this on DVD from a friend at work and it got snapped so I had to replace it <laughs> and then uh, not on Blu-ray it was on DVD but then I, I bought it again I think it's a decent decent film with Mark Wahlberg and Christian Bale I do enjoy that one The week cool guys are true As good as the first I think it's a good follow on yeah Las Vegas, not watched it. Watchmen, not watched it. But, two dish special edition for 99p, can I complain? If, if, if I could read, I'd be dangerous. Sabura, is that right? Sabura from the director of the Gomorrah series. Again, I thought that looked good. See, when I go to Pingland and I see ones that I, I want, I just take them because guaranteed the next time you go, them will be there. So, there you go. I think this is the third instalment of The Mummy, Doom of the Dragon Emperor. I've not seen any other ones in my collection yet, so I'm surprised at that. That's the weakest of them all, isn't it? Really, though. Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World. Great movie this with Russell Crowe. This was supposed to get two sequels and it really should have. Kingdom of Heaven with Orlando Bloom uh, and... Uh, I don't even see that kind of... Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen this. This is the director's cut. And I got this from my wife. She watched it. I've watched it a few times on DVD. I haven't watched it on Blu-ray or the director's cut yet. But I'm glad I've got it. It's a decent movie, that one. John Belushi in Animal House. This was in the CX and guaranteed if I hadn't taken it, it would have been gone, but I haven't watched it. Willow. I do remember watching this a long time ago and th finding it good. And I picked that one up as well. Pacific Rim. Good movie, enjoyable. I've, I've watched this over a good few times. And I, th I think... Jaegers versus what 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 are the monsters called again? I forgot what they're called. But they've got different levels and I thought that was good. So I decided to get the second one which is Uprising. But unfortunately that one isn't as good as that one. I'm gonna take a quick break because of the edge my nose. <laughs> oh, John O's Nitchin or O's Nitchin. <laughs> A nose itch and a right look is that keep me going. Right, let's see what we've got next. The Informers from the Earthers of American Psycho with Billy Bob Thornton. So I picked that up in Poundland. I haven't watched it yet, as you can see, still see it. 
Secret Life of Pets. Watched this, this at the caravan with my kids and I thought it was a decent movie. The good thing about these ones is my caravan didn't have a Blu-ray player. But when, I like when they do the, the 3D Blu-ray, Blu-ray and DVD and digital download. So look, you've got plenty of options to watch it. Field of Dreams. I've watched this a long time ago but I haven't watched it on Blu-ray yet. The Graduate in a nice, what would you call that? It's not a digibook, but it's a nice wee case that. I've got that in that 18 movie set, so I don't know whether I'll trade that in or what I'll do about it yet, but we'll see. Rupture, I like the cover, I like the concept. I haven't watched it yet. Fantastic Mr Fox, I haven't watched it. Need for Speed. I haven't watched it. Easy A. Watched some of this, I haven't watched it all. Found this in a charity shop, and I've never seen an Elvis movie on Blu-ray before. Not a charity shop anyway. And that's and that's that one there, so I took it. I think it was two pound. Batman the movie. This is the original Batman, so here you go. On Blu-ray. I haven't watched that yet either. The Spirit. I got this for a pound on a Music Magpie deal. I still haven't watched it yet either. Maze Runner The Scorch Trials. I have watched it. Didn't find it entertaining whatsoever. Didn't find the first one entertaining either. That's why I've not got the third one yet because until it drops down to like 50p I'm not going to entertain it. Bridge of Spies. Great spy thriller with Tom Hanks. Have watched that. It's really good. Let's try to remember it all. Bits and pieces. It's good. Thunderball. Have seen it a long time ago. Haven't got it yet. But for a pound in the charity shop, and see when it's a pound, that uh, for that that cats for research, that was probably twenty five p because they did four for a pound. So there you go. Keith Lem in the movie. Have watched it. Wasn't anything special. 30 Days of Night. Dark Days is a sequel to 30 Days of Night. I haven't watched it yet, but I do want to because that's the, I thought 30 Days of Night was a decent vampire concept. Nicholas Cage in Vengeance. Another £2 by, pound land special. But it was probably 50p. It's EX. There you go. I actually bought this because I thought it was the original Halloween. I didn't realise it was a remake. So I haven't watched, uh, sorry, uh, uh, the re remake of Halloween 2, so I haven't watched it yet, and that's Rob Zombie film, Halloween 2, I haven't watched that. Young Guns, I watched that a long time ago, pretty decent. Emilio Estevez, it's got a good cast in it, Kiefer Sutherland, Charlie Sheen. I need to get rid of all my old cases get them and get rid of these cases. Another Steven Seagal £2 bone blue special. Violence of action. How many of them have I got? A lot. Smoking Aces 2. Didn't like the first one, but I did like the cover on this one. So I thought I'd give it a chance. I haven't watched it yet. Green Zone. That's another double A. Because I have this Green Zone steelbook. Drawn Cheeto and che Cheater, 50p Blu-ray out of CX. I haven't watched it. The Dictator, haven't watched that yet, but I can imagine it's fu funny, I bought it. And again, I think I paid 50p for that. Insurgent, that's the middle one of the, the Divergent, Insurgent, and what's the last one called, I can't remember. But I did actually enjoy that, it wasn't too bad. Red. I watched that movie the other night there. Still great. John Malkovich is great in that. Bruce Willis is alright there. And Mary Louise Parker. She's good as well. Carl Orburn, who is a bad guy in Red in this one, he plays a good part as well. Bushwick. I have watched this. And the reason I got this is I watched it on Netflix. So Netflix and things like that do have their uses. And I thought it was a good, I thought it was a good film. And so when I see it and I've seen it in CX, it's a cracker. So this is like 
post-apocalyptic invasion movie, my type of thing. Oh, Walking Dead, series three, series two, I've seen that. Series four, and series three, I must have series one somewhere. But that's the only ones I've got of that so far, but I will own the whole set of The Walking Dead eventually. There you go, John Carpenter's Halloween. Haven't got through this yet. Put on five or six times, never got to the end. That done that on Netflix, so I didn't do it on my Blu ray. So there you go. Diary of the Dead. I was watching Day of the Dead last night and I didn't get quite get through that, but I'm going to keep that out so I can keep that for next time. Hot Tub Time Machine. I <laughs> absolutely love this movie. It is so, fu it is so funny. <laughs> when he goes into the he runs it so the the concept is they go into a hot tub and they go back to the nineteen eighties when they were when they were young and everybody sees them as they were they were young and the first thing the guy goes he runs in he runs into the place like an arcade and it's on TV and Ronald Reagan's on it and there's a bit of Michael Jackson and he goes and he just starts shouting Michael Jackson's black and he run runs out screaming oh I would really 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 find this hilarious. That's a great movie. The second one, I have watched some of it, but I couldn't get through it. So I'll need to rewatch it. But this one, really good. Enjoy that. Supernatural Season 3. Don't know why that's there because my wife's. Public Enemies. I've got that in a steelbook, so that's another double. Okay. Angels and Demons. I've now got that on Blu ray uh, on 4K, so I don't need that in the collection either. The Road. I've got that in Steelbook, so I don't need that one either. The Hangover Part 2. I haven't watched it. I've seen Part 1, but I haven't watched Part 2. The Fourth Kind. Again, I haven't watched that one. Tell you what, a lot of movies are in my collection. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest with Jack Nicholson. Not watched it. Army 1. Another... Nicholas Cage film from Thailand. I haven't watched it. American Made with Tom Cruise. Have watched that. I thought this was a decent movie. I thought it was okay. Alien Nation classic. James Can hated this film. I heard somebody put in the comments when I showed this of one of my pickup videos. I don't know why. I think it's a, I think it's a good I think it's a good movie. And again, I like the dual format. Quarantine, relevant for today. I have watched this, but I didn't think uh, I didn't find anything special. Silver Linings Playbook. Everybody said this is really good, so I do want to watch it, but I haven't got to it yet. All the King's Men with Sean Penn, Jude Law, and Kate Winslet. I haven't watched it, but look at that cast and the glow of the charity shop, as you can see, for one ninety nine. Oh, quick drink break there. I picked up this one, and I mainly picked it up for my son. Well, I did pick it up for my son, and that's Pokemon the movie Steelbook. He enjoys that, and now he's got a Blu-ray player. That's fine. So it's got Pokemon the first movie, Pokemon two thousand, and Pokemon the movie. Some of these are enjoyable because when it's the time in bed at night time, and he's wanting to watch a movie, sometimes we watch some of them. Eli Roth's The Green Inferno. I haven't watched it. Overlord, I wanted to watch this for ages, I was going to get it on 4K, glad I didn't. Just, I was expecting so much from this movie, maybe that was my problem, maybe I should watch it, I will watch it again, but I was expecting so much from this movie and it just let me down. Jurassic World 3D, I've got the 4K, but I'll keep 3D too. The new remake of Halloween. I haven't watched that yet, but I will do. And Jamie Lee Curtis returns, but I need to watch the other ones first, don't I? Iron Man! That shouldn't be on the shelf, that should be on my other movie shelf. Decent movie, that's probably the best one. I keep asking my daughter to watch it, and she, she says she will, and she never does. Christmas classic. And I was just about to repeat what he does with a big bottle of juice. And this one, a giant is burping the world. 
<laughs> That's just so funny. <laughs> oh, is that James Cann as well? As he, he does some. He, for if somebody that doesn't like the, that alienation, doesn't like movies like that, he certainly takes the parts, doesn't he? Convoy. Pick this up. And after that, this was a decent movie. I didn't know the song was written before the movie and they wrote the movie based on the song. So, good attempt at a movie when you're doing that. Conan the Barbarian, the new one, in 2D and 3D, out of Poundland, but haven't watched it yet. Cabin Fever Patient Zero, this is the third one. Haven't watched that either. Constantine. I find this a really underrated movie. I watched this. I watched this quite a few times. I think the concept to the day, the God and the Devil helping a bet over the souls of mankind, an intriguing idea. And at the end, it's got a good twist as well. So, do enjoy that. The Breakfast Club, thirtieth anniversary. Some good movies on this shelf. This is another good one. Yeah, Ali Sheedy. I just watched Ali Sheedy and what was it maybe I watched it in last night? Eh, War Games. When this was before or after War Games, but good movie. Classic I love to watch. Alfred Hitchcock and the Birds. So that's why I picked that up. I haven't watched it in the movie yet, but I have got it. Right, I'm gonna have to pause again for a second because I've got to move my piles. We're coming into the home straight, folks. Maybe 20, 30 more to go. All of these are my arrow leases, and I'll be honest with you, I haven't watched many of them. And the reason I do that is because when they're in the sale, I pick them up when they're cheap. So when I do want to watch them, I, I, I can. So I'll start off with Burnt Offerings. Haven't watched it. Society. Haven't watched it. Hard to Kill. Picked that up because I really like the cover. Oh, that big mess on the co cover is. Oh, there you go. Let me fix that. 12 Monkeys. Have watched that. Great movie. Great movie. Time travel, post-apocalyptic virus movie. Can I beat that? Zombie Flesh Eaters. Really heavy cut, heavy in this. So there must be some... Right, so that's got the D, this one, Blu-ray, this two, Blu-ray. Has it got a third disc? No, just two. Oh, and a little bit click, etc. I say, I'll... When I'm doing my arrow collections, I will go into this in a bit more detail, but we'll just buzz through them for now. This is my completion lecture video, otherwise we'll be here for weeks. <laughs> Inferno. Pajama Case Girl. Psycho 2, which I prefer to Psycho 1. Pieces. Say 2 for 15, so that's why I picked that one up. I think I also picked that one up at the same time as I picked up Rats from the other video. Oh boy, just picked that up recently. £7.50. Can't argue that. Still sealed. We'll unseal it when I watch it. Bring me the head of Alfredo Garcia. I haven't watched it. Picked up at CX, so that'd be a nice one to watch. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Everybody says this is a fun movie, and I like the cover. And I got this in the 5 for 30 HMV. I think I bought two copies and traded one in. Oh! The Endless, have watched this one. I'll be honest with you, I found it boring. I thought it was about the end of the world, and it is about the end of the world, but it's not my type of thing. Trains of Passion, picked that up, because look at the cover. Great, can't even really see. I don't know if you can see them embossing and things like that, but that's really nice. Heathers. Picked it up, haven't watched it yet, should do. We're going to ride in Christian Slater, should be good. Bloodthirsty Trilogy. I picked this up when it was on the Arrow sale for £7.50. And I got two copies and I traded the second copy into CX for £12. So essentially got my money back. And it's the Vampire Doll, Lake of Dracula, Evil of Dracula. So, all vampire movies. I think I'll be, I will enjoy watching them when I get to it. The Long Good Friday. I haven't watched that, but what a cast, Bob Cox, Hoskins, Helen and Mirren. Children of Men with Clive Owen, Julianne Moore and Michael Caine. have watched this. Again, another intriguing concept. 
when this first came out, I didn't like it, but I've watched it quite a few times now, and it's sort of grown on me, that one. The Thing. I've watched that one, thought it was good for uh, Kurt Russell. Really didn't get Soldier for Kurt Russell, it reminds me. Ronan, haven't watched it, but look at the cast. Nightmare City, haven't watched it. Invasion of the Body Statures, haven't watched it, but I won't get to it. Big Trouble in Little China, I have watched it. I think it's a fun movie. <laughs> Who's it going on? I forget. How to Sex in the City, the Mannequin. Yeah. Reminds me, I need to get Mannequin, that's a good movie. Pit stop. Picked that up because it was cheap in CX and it adds to my collection. Arrow runs. Video overdrawn. I'm sure I've got another copy of this. I'm sure I've seen it on another shelf, but I've got the arrow release really set too. So that's good. Foxy Brown. She's the meanest chick in town. And that's another one of Pam Greer ones. I haven't watched this yet, but I will get to that one. The Last American Virgin. I haven't watched it. Runaway Train. I haven't watched it yet, but I will get to it. The Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai, with, with the guy who plays Robocop, Peter Weller, isn't it? John Lithgow's in this as well. And the reason I got this is they mentioned this in Ready Player One, and so I wanted to watch it. I haven't got to it yet. Hounds of Love. I haven't watched it. Evil. I haven't watched it. Bound. I have watched it. I thought it was okay. And I picked up the other release. The Burning. I haven't watched it yet. Island of Death. I'd like to say I hadn't watched this, but I have actually watched the first 20 minutes of it. And I turned it off. I couldn't get through it. Too, dis I was going to say too disgusting, too brutal. If anyone's seen this, give me your thoughts on it. House 4. I haven't watched it because I've only got House 1 and 4. But I'll get 2 and 3 and then I'll watch them in a row. Night of the Comet. I have watched this. And it's a great movie with uh, Chicote Beltram. What's his name? Robert Beltram. I think this is a great movie. Again, another sort of end of the world movie. Oh, Man of Steelbook, The Bride of Reanimator. I haven't watched this yet because I was looking to get uh, the first Reanimator first before I watched this one. And I have now got that, so I've got Reanimator to watch before I watch that one. The Mutilator, I haven't watched it. Boondog Saints, I haven't watched that one either. The Delta Force, I've watched this classic Chuck Norris. Zardos with Sean Connery, I've watched this. What an what unusual piece of cinema that is, that's what I'll say. The Andromeda Strain, this is probably one of my favourite movies. I watch it over and over again when it's ever it's on, on TV. So when that came out on on Arrow I had to get that. That's probably one of the very few arrows I paid full price for, fifteen pounds. Just had to get that. So we're gonna be into my A to Z because I've been tied by Kermit Ghost later, so that will be definitely in it. Frankenhooker, got it for a couple of pounds off eBay. Life Force. Haven't watched it. City of the Living Dead, haven't watched it either. Somebody recommended this to me, but I haven't got around to it yet. And that's Maniac Cop. I need to see the CEX stickers of that one. Deep Red. Again, somebody recommended that one to me. I haven't watched it yet, but I've got the nice window box cases. Those three. Madman. I haven't watched it. And Bodridge. 
Last of Shelf 5. Hope you're enjoying this series so far. And uh, oh, I've already shown that one. Andromeda Strain, my favourite. Oh, okay. But that's a great one. And Blood Rage. Haven't watched that yet, but I will get right will get round to it. Great selection of arrows there that hopefully one day I'll get round to I'll get round to watching. When I've got a bit more time, maybe when my kids are grown up and I've got time to myself and I'm lonely. <laughs> so I appreciate you watching this and sticking with it. Hope you enjoyed part five. I shall film part six shortly. If you do like it, I would appreciate you give it a thumbs up and uh, I'll, I'll put the, all the other parts in the playlist so you can have a look at them. And if you do want to watch more, then please give it a wee subscribe. Thank you.